So the plan is to replace this with this. Well, that bolt fought me, so I had to cut a hole to get at the top to uh, hold it, but it came out. These two back here had to cut out completely. But now they're gone, and it has officially been separated from the frame. That's why I'm getting rid of it. It's nasty. So the plan is to put this on that. I just broke down regular old pallets into all that and all this and kind of laid it out how uh, it's gonna go on to the frame of the truck. So now I just have to cut a couple two by fours that I have that were also scrapped from a really long old pallet. Uh, cut them down to length, drill some holes, and get it all mounted up and then start laying this out on the actual truck. Now that I figured out where I want everything, I got it all lined up, got holes marked, started drilling on this one. Now I gotta drill all those other ones that will match up to holes in the frame. And I can start making the uh, layout of this on the frame of the truck. All the supports bolted in, all existing holes in the frame. These two little ones right here. Next up is the framework around the perimeter. The basic frame laid out and attached to the 2x4s uh, that are bolted to the truck's frame, I then laid out the supports that will be holding up the deck boards. Uh, trying to avoid cutting as much as possible, that's why they're in there crooked. Um, and I didn't have enough wood to really put as much support in as I wanted to. So I placed them all on an angle. <music>
Well, that's most of the frame done. Have everything just kind of somewhat secured. I'm gonna go up through and you know screw this in from the side. I might add some metal L brackets, but everything's pretty pretty firm. Next comes the deck. And I did end up attaching the uh, ends of the center supports on the angles there uh, to the outer frame, kind of the, around the perimeter. Um, lost the footage, don't know what happened to it. But I snapped these pictures, so there's that. All right, move the project indoors because it's getting way too buggy and mosquito-y out there and dark. Got all the decking laid out. A bigger gap in the middle than I remember. Um, I'm gonna just fill it in with some of the wider boards that I had for the front and back and just leave the back well, more neatly than that once I nail everything down. That should be the next part. Nailing. A lot of nailing. Uh. Finish up what I could last night, nailing all the decking down, and made a little, I don't know if you call that a headache rack or not, but just put some extra pallet pieces up there along the front. Uh, this is temporary, I haven't figured out where exactly I'm going to mount the fuel filler neck yet. Probably down around here somewhere, but uh, yeah. That's pretty much done for now. Take it for its maiden voyage tomorrow and uh, see how it does. Hopefully it doesn't fall off. Well, here it is. The finished product. Been driving in a couple days now. Nothing's fallen off. It rained for a couple days, so uh, survived that as well. A little more detail about what I used here. These bottom boards are uh, four foot sections from a pallet. I don't know why it says that, but it's upside down now. Uh, just screwed them onto these two by fours that came from a six foot long pallet, which I put uh, widthwise across the truck. This one's a little warped, so there's a bit of a gap there. No big deal. There's two more up here, all bolted to the frame. Right where the bed would have been. Then we have that uh, little, I think it's about a four foot section, just to support the middle of it. You can kind of see I have some nails poking out still. They're not in danger of hitting the tires, so it's fine. A um, couple little pieces to support that, just kind of hanging out in the frame, not attached to anything but the uh, support. I put the supports in on an angle, mostly because I didn't have enough. Uh, also because I didn't want to cut them down, so I could have ran them just straight across and had more support for the deck, but nah. Angled is better, although I do have some weak spots. I already uh, I already broke through on, on this one here, I think it was. Maybe it was that one? I don't know, but they're, they're thin boards anyway. I didn't build this to carry a bunch of weight. Just did it mostly because I could. And then, uh, yeah, these are just the regular pallets with the cutouts for the forks. I don't know why these didn't have them, but being four foot long, they, I mean, everything kind of fit perfectly. These are four feet as well, but I wanted to kind of use these for like uh, tie downs. So you can kind of put a strap through there up here. It's kind of sturdy. I'm probably going to get a piece of metal to brace this here just because it's not the, the strongest for lateral loads. If you tie something down to here, I mean, a little bit of wiggle room there, but it'll work for what I'm gonna use it for, it's just carrying light things. I also might uh, cover this up with something. My uh, other boards that I had from another pallet weren't quite long enough reach the center, but 
it looks fine. This is a nice touch that uh, that came on the pallet. 100% recycled wood. A couple pieces of metal that I got also recycled from a pallet. I think these came off that six foot long one. It had like some box sides, like angle this, this way. Did use a couple L brackets here just to hold these on for, for looks. Mostly for style. Uh, these up here are also held on with L brackets. I'm going to attach these a little better. They're screwed in pretty good to these 2x4s coming out from the bottoms here, which are also screwed into the supports going this way. So it's strong enough. It hasn't bounced off, hasn't broken apart. And I can stand on it, I can jump on it. I can pretty much lift the corner of the truck with the corner of the bed. So it's all secure, I'm not going anywhere. And the best part was the price, free 99. I'm sure there's lots of places around where you live that you can pick up free pallets from. I got all these from work. Uh, we get deliveries of large items, drums of fluid. They all came on these nice, almost new pallets, so they came in handy. So, thanks for watching this dumb video I made. Maybe it'll inspire someone out there to do the similar thing here. I always kind of wanted to build something out of wood to replace the uh, service box that was rusting apart and leaving flakes and chunks of rust all over my driveway. And I had all these pallets laying around and uh, looked online and couldn't find anybody else who's done this exact thing out of old pallets. Lots of wood bed tutorials out there, but nothing like this. So hopefully it's the first one and uh, hopefully uh, inspire someone else to do the same thing. Again, thanks for watching. See you in the next video.